the morning mess. It's time for the staycation set up. That part of the show, we're trying to catch up these cheaters live on your radio. We do have James on the line. He thinks his girl might be cheating on him because uh, he found a man's headband in her bed. James, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Like a headband, like like a sweatband, like you work out in? Yeah, like, you know, it's got a little logo on the side, a little Harry Potter looking zigzag. I don't know what the f it is, but oh okay. I'm not using it. Right. I, I kind of have the same question as you, Joey, because, like, how do you know it's a guy's headband and not just a sports headband that she's using? Oh, because I've seen the wearing the thing. Okay. Wait. Yeah. So you, you know who you suspect her seeing on the side? Yeah, kind of. I mean, she, look, she goes to the gym. I don't know how many times a week. She, she's great looking. She's fit. And I figured I'd go with her once and maybe try to show her that I care. Right. And when I get to the gym with her, she's got this workout buddy, this guy that might as well be the freaking mascot of the place. <laughs> and they're chit-chatting. They got jokes. They got, you can tell, they've got a history or something. Uh-huh. And he's talking to her like, I'm not even there. And there's that freaking headband on his head. And he's looking at me, I'm looking at him, and I want to say something to him, but I'm not going to make a scene there, so I just kind of let it slide. But Right. I'm know. thinking, if I'm you, I see this headband, and you know where it's from. Do you hit her up ASAP? Like, what's going on? I found it in the bed while we were sitting in there together, and I asked her, what is this? Where does this come from? And she's like, oh, that's just mine. I uh, must have forgot to put it in the laundry. She took it real quick, and... She knew that there's something up. Right. The way how quickly she took it from me. And I just pretended like, okay, yeah, that's yours. Go ahead. But I know the truth of what's going on. Something's fishy here. Okay, well, we're going to call your girl Luna up, offer a free romantic staycation, and see who she wants to put on that reservation. Uh, this dude, yeah. do you know his name? Zane. Zane? Yeah, I don't know what kind of freaking name that is. What? Yeah. Wait, whoa. <laughs> okay. It's a pretty normal name. I know, no, like no. five. <laughs> no, I understand his frustration if she is cheating with this guy. So um, if she says, Zane, you know she's cheating, and we'll give you the show at that point, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. James, hold on right there. Ladies and gentlemen, staycation setup time. What's up next? Morning mess. All right, here we go. Staycation setup. Morning mess. Listen, to recap with you, we were catching up where our guy, James, suspects his girlfriend of cheating. She's a gym rat. And um, he's not very much, but he tried to support his new relationship, went to the gym. And he could tell that she was kind of flirtatious with this one guy there. James is one guy named Zane, correct? Yes, sir. And uh, you remember this guy. You remember what he was wearing, specifically this one headband that you think is a stupid headband uh, that he was wearing. <laughs> and coincidentally, that week, you're over at your girlfriend's house. You're in bed doing things. You're sitting up and you see that headband in her bed. Yes, I do. You try to give her the benefit of the doubt. Like, what's this? And she's like, oh, that's mine. You know she's lying. That's not hers. Mm-hmm. And oh. here we are. Are you ready to do the staycation setup? Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with Luna? Yes, who is this? Luna, my name is Jonathan. I'm calling from the Aurora Hotel with some excellent news for you. You've been selected as the grand prize winner of our free romantic weekend giveaway here at the Aurora Hotel, which means we're going to put you up in our penthouse suite with the honeymoon package. I was calling just so I could confirm some details for your reservation, but I wanted to congratulate you because you're the grand prize winner. I didn't even do any sweepstakes or anything like that. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, well, I do have your name and number. It seems to match up here. Luna, I want to let you know that this is truly free. There's no deposits, no fees, no taxes. We just actually need to get reviews of your experience on Google and Yelp, and that's it. Really? That is correct. Yeah, so it's a top-of-the-line experience. We're trying to build our presence online, and if you wouldn't mind helping us out, this could be a great way to show that special someone how much they mean to you. Okay. Fine. Okay. Well, Luna, if you have questions along the way, feel free to ask. I'm going to start with some questions for you. Now, with this free romantic weekend stay, we actually start this off with a personalized note that's from you to your romantic guest of honor. I want to give you a moment to see if you have a special message you'd like to leave to set the mood for your weekend. Take all the time you need. Um, put, let's make a mess. Okay. Um, I have that for you here, Luna. My next question for you is, who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? I need your guest of honor's full name for us to continue. Sure, it's 
Zane. Uh, I knew it. Yeah. What? What did you say? Hey, Luna, legally, we got to let you know you're live on the radio. We're a morning show called The Morning Mass with your boyfriend, James, on the line. I knew you've been sleeping with him right before no. me. And then no. you thought that you could lie about this? No, it was an accident. I mean, oh, an I accident? Oh, was that Herculean mother jumps into your bed on accident so you just sleep with him? Yeah, oh he, he, he definitely bench pressing her dog. Oh, my God. Don't take it, James. I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Can we, can we please he, stop? Does he have a girlfriend? Or is yes, that he has, yes, no, he has a girlfriend. And it's just, I mean, it was just an accident. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Has it happened more than once? No, yeah, no. It was just the one time. It was just the one time. I'm such an idiot. I'm you were going to try and pull this <laughs> again. No, this is not the first right. time. You don't yeah. want to know. And on the, the news, everybody's going to know that Luna's done this before. Yeah. I want to make sure that we address some things here. I mean, Luna, I don't want to. I don't want you to feel like we're not hearing you crying, and I'm really sorry that you're going through this. But like, you apologized. At this point, James, I know that you've expressed your feelings. Is there anything that you guys want to do moving forward? Because we do have counseling services available. Please, I'll do anything to to make it to your promise. I can't hear this anymore. Okay. Can, can you guys just like hang up on her or something? No, I, I feel that. I think she's trying to get sympathy by crying. You're doing that on purpose. Yeah. I'm not buying okay. it either. Okay. Uh, Luna, you still there? Yeah. All right. I just want to know so I can let you go. Here we go. James, now listen. Yeah, it's just, it's, this is pretty shit, man. I got to think about all these times you probably know. Oh, that sweaty headband. Stop. Dude, just stop. Stop. Right. Yeah, yeah, stop. Joey, let, let's uh, drop. Shut him down. Open up. Oh. Shop. James. Oh. No. No? Okay. <laughs> James, good luck. Keep us posted, okay? Thank you. Uh, what is that? Where my dog's at?